Part 6 of the Question and Answer Book The Mancharians' Newest Civilization We learn here the Mancharians refuse to function as messengers, however will generously serve in the capacity of teachers by providing explanations and interpretations to concepts we wish to understand properly or have held a false notion of. All sessions were recorded in 1995 in Tempe, Arizona. Question 6, Director this planet lies at the brink of destruction because of pollution, wars, atomic explosions, and so forth. Are your people in any way involved, like many of the other higher brethrenhood, in the guidance and direction for the salvation of this planet and the transition of leading it into a higher plane of existence after the catastrophic events that we expect have happened? Mancharians, here again we do work within definitions. In your case you have many who are dutifully bound to be messengers and redeemers to your people of their physical essences to make sure they continue on, those who have sufficiently prepared themselves. We are not messengers. We only perform our duty to bring to you our spark of truth from our realm. That is as far as we go until we meet with your people again after they have subjected their lower essence into their higher, in order that it take control and free them from the shackles of their existence upon this plane of yours. Question 7, Director, can you tell us a little bit more, or a lot more, about your civilization, the way you have organized it as far as governmental structure or any of that is concerned? Mancharians, we do not work in definitions. We do not work within governmental restrictions, rules, laws, or obligations. For each of us has performed unto our own evolutionary journey of one obligation to ourselves, and we are one body with the Creator. We are the Creator. We do not have a consensus taker as you do. We are one essence. We do not work on concepts of individualism. We perform in a highly specified fashion. Our fashion is, we are one body. We all partake of the same thing. Whether it be the light essence of energy, whether it be complete focus to help such as your people, or whether it be to be to bring ourselves into higher authority by our ongoing production of our ongoing journeys. You must understand and explain from us to your people, that as each one goes on their upward journey, we go as one of a whole. We are at an accelerated pace, you see. Is this of understanding to you? Question 8, Director, Yes. I begin to grasp it. So what is your goal or anticipated result of continued spiritual growth? I mean to ask, compared to what you are now, what do you expect to become? Mancharians, firstly, we must tell your people we are here on duty to stretch the minds of mankind to form that connection into oblivion so they will form a oneness with themselves. These minor details they must understand before they even would have a hope of understanding anything that we tell them of ourselves. But in order to answer your question which is very preliminary and sweet, we would simply tell you that accelerated process is such as going through a vortex. We split into many fragments going through a vortex, two to three at a time without ever losing our conscious combinement with the Creator, for we are the Creator. Our inheritance is at hand. We wish to hold that hand to your people. We are happy in our essence, for we are one body. We are all knowing at our focusing points. We wish to be beyond the focusing for the focusing is the secret and the key of our power for our growth. It would never be abused, because no group or individual, as you so love to term your concepts, would ever progress to this height of evolution and even have a thinking concept of any sort of evil or negative attire. We soon hope to join with the greatest of all, and become the whole and total of the universe. This again is a concept to stretch the minds of your people. We are the Creator but we have yet to gain entry into being the universes. All dimensions at once, no further and no less. We are the Mancharians and hold a hand out to your people in love and kindness for them, and cherishing their souls which one day will join with us. One far day down the road, but that is fine, no matter. We are the Mancharians and we send our love to your people. Question 9, Director, Thank you kindly. These are fantastic concepts. Can you in any way describe your physicalness? Are there similarities between the ordinary human and yourself? Mancharians, indeed. We are not what you would probably term as beautiful, 
but that is only because you view yourselves as the only beautiful creatures in the universe. You are and have beautiful essence and we smile down on you, but you must understand we do have form. We are of a gaseous content, not that we cannot solidify. Of course that is simple, but we too are on our upward journey, and we desire to be the universes. We desire to be the complete essence of the universes. We already form many galaxies within new universes, there is no extent of limitational possibilities. We are the creators. We would like to share with you many things over the next few weeks. We must work hard. Your people need help. We have come because this is our duty. We are not messengers. Time is no essence to us, for we do not live within time or space definitions. You must set the perimeters or boundaries, for we work without sleep. We need no sleep, for we are not in bodily form or restrictions. We are not defined by restrictions. Question 10, Director, as far as your home planet is concerned, so you don't occupy only one planet, you are all over the universe, I understand, although you do have a home base, am I correct? Mancharians, in a manner of speaking. And here we must deal with your concept and definition of home. We have our preferred limits of where we gather. We are one. Our gathering spot provokes much enjoyment for the creators. But we, one day, will be the universes, and yes, universes are our playgrounds. But we also work. We also progress at a very rapid rate. We are delighted and anxious to join in with the complete and total essence of the creator. For we, too, are the creator. Do you understand? Question 11. Director, what suggestion can you give in order to maximize the human's progression toward the goal that you have already achieved? Mancharians, your people must learn to join with their higher self, because it is also progressing in an evolutionary process. They must expand their minds. They spend so much time running like ants. Nobody has any time to sit and relax and contemplate. They must learn to attend to this matter soon, for extinction is no longer a debate. We have come to help, to perform our duty. We are the Mancharians. Director, thank you for your help indeed. We will retire for tonight, and go over the tape again, listen to what you have to say and will meet with you possibly tomorrow. Is that all right? Mancharians, indeed. You are willing to proceed with the work, are you not? We need to spend many hours a night together to work. You will hopefully have prepared yourself better. We have invited ourselves, and we do thank you for your aspect in achieving conscious endeavor for understanding. We must perform our duty. We are the Mancharians. Good night. Rennie Centenaries, our presence on Internet is freeearthsystem.net. As well as, starshipfederation.atspace.co.uk. My presence on Facebook is, facebook.com forward slash centenaries. It is our intent to present to you listeners the words of the Mancharians from the book The Mancharians' Newest Civilization in audio segments of approximately 5 to 9 minutes in length. Happy listening.